What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our September 16th Fishing Report for the Great Bay. As always, brought to you by the Great Bay Marina. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps us out a great deal. All right, we want to tell you about a couple tournaments coming up. American Angler has two surf fishing tournaments coming up in October. First, they have the American Angler Classic on the 10th. This is an individual event. It's on the beaches of Seaside Park. And then on the 30th, they have the fourth annual American Angler Surf Fishing Tournament on the beach of LBI. This is a team event or an individual event. If you're interested in something like this, reach out to Carl Hartman. His uh, information is below. Um, he'll tell you more about it if you want to know something. All right, guys. Well, this is it. We are heading into the last weekend of flounder season. I can't believe it's here. Sunday, September 19th is the last day that you can officially uh, go after these fish. Uh, we're actually planning to head out on Friday night, as long as the weather plays well, to get out there for our last trip of the season. So if you guys are out there, uh, keep your eye out for us. Uh, but we have some guys who got done this last week, and we're going to check that out now. Richard Quackenbush Jr. and his friend were able to catch a two-man limit. Uh, they were out fishing the Little Lake Reef and uh, Garden State South Reef uh, on Monday. Their biggest weighed in at four and a half and almost five pounds. Uh, the natural baits seem to be getting it done uh, right now. The bluefish, mackerel strips, also squid spearing and minnows have been working well. Uh, James Aquavella was able to land his, this monster 26-inch flounder off the Barnegat Reef. Norman Brook uh, and his friend had a great day out in Ocean City Reef. They brought in 20-plus flounder plus five keepers. Uh, the biggest um, weighed in at 27 and a 22-inch. Uh, he said they, had, they were able to get into some albies as well out there. Uh, Patrick uh, Prezuto was able to take Bayside Dave out in his boat. Uh, they're both able to pull in several shorts and two keepers, uh, the largest being this 21-inch here uh, caught by Patrick. Uh, again, Dave said that the natural baits are what are working well. So uh, I've heading out there. Looks like you can leave the pink shine gulp at home. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. It's uh, hard, hard to believe we're saying that. Uh, and from the Great Bay Marina said that there are still plenty of flounder in the inlets in front of the old Coast Guard station. Uh, and blowfish, kingfish have been both reported at buoy marker 131, 132, and the Grassy Channel. Uh, bloodworms seem to be getting it done there. Uh, white perch and crabbing are also both doing well. Uh, so even though flounder season is going out, there's still plenty of fish to be caught out there before the stripers get here. All right, and Carl Chin was out again on Saturday with Carl Hartman and Laura Zerley. They were at the Little Egg Reef, and they caught a ton of fish. They, were, they got 15 short fluke, black sea bass, weak fish, blowfish. They were into a little bit of everything that day. Uh, Joe Monticolo was in the Atlantic City Reef using a jig with gulp, and he landed this nice cobia. He also pulled in two nice fluke. And then Mike Monaco is in the Barnegat Bay. He caught his biggest weak fish of the year so far. Looks like he had a great time pulling that thing in. All right, guys, and tides are setting up this weekend. We got Friday, high tide of uh, 6.15 a.m. and 6.41 p.m. Saturday is 7.14 a.m. and 7.34 p.m. Sunday is 8.04 a.m. and 8.21 p.m. And the weather, Friday is going to be a little rainy in the morning, but it looks like it's going to clear off. It's going to be beautiful the rest of the weekend with highs in the upper 70s and the low 80s. Guys, thanks for watching. If you get on the water this week, send us those pictures. We want to see how you do. Good luck on the water, everybody. Good luck, guys.